So if you've watched any of my hiking and wild camping videos, you may have noticed my slightly unconventional backpack. So it's actually called a Gossamer Gear G420, and it is a super simple, super sleek, ultra light, frameless backpack that has served me extremely well over the last 12 months. So now that I have taken this backpack in pretty much every single condition you can imagine, seriously, I've dragged this thing through storms big and small. I've used it on day hikes, wild camps, and even five day through hikes. Having done all of that, I now feel super confident that I can give you a really well informed in-depth review of this item and heads up this is not a sponsored video I bought the kit myself and I'm doing this off my own back so I have a lot of opinions about this backpack but before we get to them let's start off with specifications what is this backpack and what makes it so unique my medium-sized Gossamer Gear G420 backpack weighs 702 grams it is made out of 70d and 100d aerobic nylon fabric with DWR coating and it comes in two awesome colors there's a steely gray which is the one that I have and there's also a super rich blue I thought about getting it but kind of chickened out at the last moment both of these colors are so awesome in my opinion this is an ultralight bag which means everything has been designed with weight in mind this means that some typical features that you'd find in an everyday backpack are sometimes lacking but let me assure you this does not mean that the design is bad it actually means the exact opposite Gossamer Gear have boiled this backpack down to the absolute essential they have only left you with features that you will actually use so the bag itself is sealed up by a roll top that can quickly seal your bag away from the elements. If you overpack your bag like I often do, there is also thankfully a strap that can be clamped down over the top of the roll top which will help you secure those additional items. Near the top of the bag there is also two small ports for hydration systems. I personally haven't used them yet but if you are a fan of Camelbacks I think this feature is made for you. There is also a tiny zip pocket at the top of the bag. This is perfect for phones, for wallets, for keys, things you just don't want to get lost. This zip is really well made, it's never come undone accidentally on me and it is also very water resistant, very much waterproof. Speaking of pockets, let's talk about these brilliantly sized side pockets. God, that's a lot of S's. <laughs> On one side, we have a quick draw bottle sized pocket that you can easily stash multiple bottles or folded up hiking poles in. On the other side, we have a much taller pocket that I've seen some people refer to as a quiver. This is a really great pocket for stashing your tent, tent poles, bigger water bottles, or just other huge items. I absolutely love these side pockets. I think they're super handy. That extra bit of storage has come in handy on pretty much every trip I've been on. You'll also notice that this backpack has really thick shoulder padding. It is unbelievably comfortable to wear. I guess it is missing some of the extra load shifting straps that you'd find on a typical hiking backpack, which is a shame, but it's absolutely fine for me. I haven't really noticed much of a difference, to be honest. I generally think that the extra padding kind of makes up for that in my eyes. You'll also notice that there is a fair few options for lashing things onto the straps themselves. There's a lot of little D-rings and loopholes along here. It's very easy to tie a daisy chain around one of these D-rings or just buy an additional pocket that you can strap onto the backpack itself. This is a an additional pocket that I bought for 20 pounds from Gossamer Gear. This little pocket is the perfect size for an iPhone 11. It's helped me a lot on trips. It's meant that I can easily get stuff out of the pockets of my shorts, which means I can hike faster and have less sort of resistance on my legs. It's nice to just have my phone tucked in at my chest so I can easily pull it out for snaps or selfies. It is about 25 pounds and they are kind of hard to get your hands on, but if you want to keep your phone close to hand, then I would recommend picking this up too. You'll also notice that this backpack does have a chest mount. This will take the weight off your hips a little bit and just help uh, evenly distribute the weight of the pack onto your body. I really like this. It's just nice to have as much even distribution when you're hiking really. There's also a cool feature on this. There is a whistle embedded in one of the buckles on this chest strap which means if you run into trouble, you can easily, you know, blow on that, get some people's attention, and hopefully it will help you out in your time of need. Moving on to the waist belt, it is extremely comfortable to wear. On the website, it says it's 1.5 inches thick. This waist belt has been designed for absolute maximum comfort. So now let's talk about my favorite part about this backpack. It's related to the hip belt. Let's talk about the hip belt pocket. These two pockets are absolutely ideal for snacks. You can put in about six chocolate bars across these two packs and have room for some sun cream and your keys and your phone in there. They are huge and they are so easy to use. It's so nice just to be able to quickly reach snacks, quickly reach chocolate bars or whatever kind of snacks you're out there with you. Mine are normally those brunch bars you get from Tesco's. Genuinely that feature of this backpack is one of the reasons why I've stuck with this backpack for the last 12 months. The way they've designed it, it's so easy to use, so handy. While you're hiking out there in the wilderness, it just is a small feature that just gets your quality of life so much higher. So yeah, love that feature. Absolutely excellent. Also for you winter adventures,
adventurers and mountain climbers, there is a ice hooking strap at the bottom of this bag. I used this when I was climbing Mont Blanc and it worked really well for me. You hook your ice axe into the bottom of this hook. It's a really good addition. And yeah, my ice axe stayed strong all the way through the trip. Finally, let's talk about the two main compartments of this backpack. Let's start off with the stuff sack. This is an easy access mesh material pocket that is ideal for quickly storing items you no longer need. I often keep waterproof and down jackets in this pocket so I can quickly put on or shed layers while I'm out hiking. It is just an absolutely brilliant addition. And finally, let's talk about the main storage compartment because I get a feeling that this will pretty much divide the room at this point. To be honest, there's not a ton to be said. This is a super sleek, ultra light, minimalistic design, meaning that there is no pockets on the inside of this backpack. It is just a bag that you can shove everything into, which honestly has improved my hiking and my equipment loads because it's meant that I don't pack things I don't need. It's meant that I only bring stuff that is absolutely required. And if I don't use it, I won't bring it next time because it won't fit in the pack and it won't be able to hide in a pocket that I never open in a trip. You know, often on my other bigger backpacks from the past, I put something in a small pocket thinking I'd one day use it. And I've come to realize weeks later that I've taken out of me on every single trip and I've never actually unzipped that small pocket it was hiding in. And it's forgotten about, but it's added to my backpack weight for the last, you know, four or five trips. But with this backpack, absolutely nothing can hide from you. You're not gonna forget what's in it. And this kind of single entry, single exit backpack is really handy because it just forces you to be intentional with what you bring. So that was an overview about the specs of this backpack, but now let's talk about my actual opinion of this kit. This backpack is awesome. There's a reason why I've stuck with it for the last 12 months. It is sturdy, it is well made, it looks cool, it's well designed, and most importantly, it's comfortable to wear. 42 liters isn't too big or too small, it's just right, just like Goldilocks. This backpack forces you to stay intentional and reminds you of, you know, the downsides of extra weight, and I absolutely love it. I can always comfortably fit a sleeping bag, my tent, food, water, clothes, and camera gear into this backpack, absolutely no problem, and go off on an adventure for multiple days. I've taken this pack 87 miles down the Ridgeway and had absolutely no issues. I've taken this pack 100 miles along the South Downs Way and had no issues as well. And I even dragged this pack all the way along the canal network from London to Birmingham and had absolutely no issues, no pain, no struggle. It was exactly fit for purpose. It's been through rain, wind, mud, relentless sun, and it still looks as good as ever. And by the way, if you wanna see any of the through hikes or wild camping adventures that I have referenced throughout this video, do yourself a favor and hit that big red button down below. Come and join my community. Go and check out the backlog of content that I've created over the last two years. You're gonna absolutely love it and you're gonna get loads of information from it and maybe some ideas for some trips for yourself too. Anyway, let's get back to the review. I only in the last six months have realized that the big padding that's in the back of the backpack, the padding that you'd probably think is just there to keep the backpack in its like typical shape in a strong, robust form. It's not just for that, it's also a sitting mat. I didn't realize this, like I said, until like six months ago and I, I just feel really dumb to be honest. Like it would have made all my through hikes so much more comfortable, so much more enjoyable. I just never thought to really pull it out while it was packed up. The backpack will not fall apart. It's not gonna disintegrate without that piece of foam padding. Just pull it out and sit on that every time you wanna chill out for the day. Don't be an idiot like me and only realize that after owning the backpack for you know nearly a year. It's ridiculous. Okay, anyways, so finally the big question, is it waterproof? And I'm gonna say no, because I'm gonna be honest, no backpack is really waterproof, but this backpack is super water resistant. If you're out on a trek and it's not a storm, if it's just raining like a medium amount, not crazy, and you're only out in it for a couple of hours, then this backpack is gonna be dry. It's gonna resist that water, it's probably gonna be fine. But if you're out in a storm and it's raining like crazy and it's relentless and you cannot get out of that rain after like six or seven hours of being in it, then it's probably gonna get through the backpack. It's not gonna be a lot, but it is gonna get through. Other than storms, for everyday use, this backpack is gonna be perfect, you know. So guys, would I buy it again? Absolutely yes, yes I would buy this again. This is an awesome pack, it's well made, I think it looks good, it's really comfortable, it's competitively priced if you compare it to the other ultralight backpacks in this space. And to be honest, it's just a great all-rounder, you know, you can camp, wild camp, day hike in it, through hike in it, it is brilliant. And yeah, it's perfect for, for me. If you've got the money and you're thinking about getting this, then I would recommend that you do. I've had it for the last 12 months, I've used it in so many different situations and it hasn't let me down once. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching if you did enjoy the video do me a favor and hit the like button subscribe if you're new and drop a comment let us know what you think about this backpack down below and i'll try to answer as many questions as i can thanks a lot for watching i will see you in the next one